And the first thing that just screams at you when you walk in is the enormity of this side window. Uh, and then if you swing around, look at the size of the front door and the window beside the front door. My goodness, I have never seen so much open space and, and available room and light. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. So today we are looking at tents. I think there are a whole bunch of you who are on the road or thinking about being on the road, and a tent is a really, really good solution. If you're going in a smaller vehicle, you have a great, reliable car, uh, but no money to buy anything bigger, go in a car, buy a good tent. Uh, a good tent that will last you decades. Now this tent, this is the Spring Bar Classic Jack 140. This tent will last you decades. Uh, Spring Bar is a company in Salt Lake, Utah, uh, Utah and they, I believe they started in 1961. At any rate, uh, it was 60 years ago at least. And they still get tents that are 50 years old come in for repair. They still repair them and send them back. This is a decades long tent. And even if you have a bigger rig, having a great tent that you can set outside and use for storage, use for a sewing room, use for an entertainment room, is so valuable. Now, if you're broke, really broke, and don't even have the money for this, this is the 10 by 14, and it's a thousand, it's eleven hundred dollars, thousand ninety-nine. But it'll also take a stove. If you have the money to buy this tent or any tent, hot tent, they're called hot tents when you can put a stove in them, <clears throat> and then buy the stove, then you could stay warm all winter with one of these, whereas you're going to struggle in the car, really struggle in the car. You can't get a heater in a car. Uh, now, this, these are the cotton. We're only going to look at cotton canvas tents. They are the only ones that, in my opinion, will stand up to the sun and the wind. The rain and snow are bad, but the sun and the wind are what kill tents. If you have a nylon tent, any, any man-made fabric of any kind, polyester, whatever it is, uh, that sun's just going to kill it. This is 10 by 14. If there's a couple of you, um, it's great. Classic Jack 10 by 10. It's only, uh, it's only $750. So it's quite a bit cheaper and it's going to be smaller and lighter to put in your car. Both of these tents, the 10 by the 10 by 10, which you can't see, but is right there. And the 10 by 14, uh, I think they're 80 pounds. You break it down into its components and the tent body, which is the uh, heaviest part, I think is about 50 pounds. But if you have the money and you have the space in your rig, this is the tent to buy. It's enormous, it's huge, it's super high quality. Spring Bar does make a lot of their tents in uh, here right in, uh, in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you're, that's important to you, then they have a model of this tent that I believe is $400 more, I forget the name, uh, that's 10 by 14 and made in America by an American. Spring Bar sent me this tent, you need to know that. I did not spend my money on this tent. I can tell you from direct personal experience, Spring Bar is a fantastic tent. It's just a tent to buy. I pretty much only recommend Spring Bar in canvas tents. They're just superior. I really, really, really like them. Now, let's take a look around the outside of the tent and I'll show you some of the features that make this tent really, really special. And then after that, we'll go inside and look inside. So as we look at the outside of the tent, the first thing that stands out to me is the enormous amount of ventilation. Look at the size of this door and then right beside it is a huge window. So that is just enormous amount of ventilation on this side of the tent. And this is an awning that I don't, I just rolled it up right now. On this end is another very large, another very large window. So on this side is another enormous window. You can just see this is just enormous. As far as the difficulty of setting up the tent, this is the heart of it, the spring bar. It literally is the spring bar. And these tension, these rods go into that T adapter and are under a lot of tension. In fact, all the strength, the structural strength of the tent is made by that tension, that spring. It's actually assembling that, and there's a bar that goes across the roof and meets exactly the same thing on the other side and holds all the tension. Really the only difficult thing is this pipe that you see that comes down here and goes to the ground. So it goes from the ground all the way to the top. And 
it's under a lot of tension now. So what you have to do is uh, put the rod through there, stand it up, and just walk in with it until it goes fully upright. So standing this thing upright is about the only difficult part of setting the tin up. It's tedious to pound in all the stakes, but it's not the least bit hard. So this mainly stays up by use of uh, tent stakes around the floor and then the spring bar. This is where this tent truly stands out and I think is unique, is that all this perimeter around the walls, let me show you one of these specifically. That's a metal guy. That's not just a grommet that can rip out. And you can see here that this loops around and isn't going to come off. And this right here where my thumb is, between my thumb and forefinger, that's a rope. It's sewn into the whole width around. You know, it's not only is it double stitched really well, but there's a rope in there. So that rope is pulling. It's pulling on that rope. It's not pulling on the cotton fabric. It's pulling on the rope. So this thing is going to stay on longer than anything. I mean, this is one of the big failure points is the grommets. So a lot of people will give you, you know, pretty well sewn in um, grommets. But this gets a rope around the entire perimeter of the, of the tent, and it gives you a nice um, metal stake holder. Really, really well done. Now, I currently have this set up with a wood stove, uh, and so you'll see this triangle here. This was a window, uh, so you'd have a window on all four sides, big windows. But that window zips out, and you zip in this uh, stove jack. The Classic Jack 140, you can add an option to get it plus the stove jack kit. And so it comes ready to put in a stove jack. And then you have to buy everything else. You know, obviously they're not, it's not, does not include the, um, the stove or the pipes or anything else. You have to just buy those. And they recommend the Winterwell kit. Um, and that's what this is. This is the Winterwell kit. It comes with everything you need. But it's, it's wood stove ready. And not all of them are. In fact, most of them aren't. Great, now you saw how wonderful the outside of this tent is. Now let's go inside and uh, I think you'll just be blown away by how big it is and well thought out it is. Let's do that now. The door height is just fine with me. Uh, the width is very good. There's no center pull. A lot, of, um, a lot of tents will have a center pull here. I really hate center pulls, so not having a center pull is a very, very good thing. Okay, now we're gonna be doing a interior view of the Spring Bar Classic Jack 10x14 all set up. And the first thing that just screams at you when you walk in is the enormity of this side window. Uh, and then if you swing around, look at the size of the, of the uh, front door and the window beside the front door. So on this side, you got this huge opening. And on this side, you've got this huge opening. Of course, it's got a nice bug screen in it, so bugs aren't coming in. But my goodness, I have never seen so much open space and, and available room and light. So now we'll go in a little bit and look at some of the details. So you, you're going to need five gallons of water. I've got a table set up, a chair. I can eat there. I can work there. I can pile stuff on there. I could easily get another one of those in there. So I have two tables, one to pile stuff on, one to cook on, one to work on. And on that wall under the uh, stove jack, the, uh, the stove jack that comes with the uh, tent, I've installed the Winterwell Woodlander Large. And it's a, a nice big stove. It's going to really heat this. As you can see, I threw some, uh, I can, I threw some wood around there just to get it dried. And, and then if I were going to be in here for any length of time, I'd have a lot more wood. But as you can see, there's a huge amount of room here for wood. I've got a, a just a, a Sterilite box. You're going to carry your stuff out when you go camping. You'll need some totes. Carry it in. Set up your camp. Just to, I like folding chairs. That's what I've been using for a long time. This is a Thermarest pad on top of a Coleman cot. I just grabbed a cardboard box to have a bed end. And then over here, I've got another tote. I'm going to show you again these windows. So this is from the far end. 
Let me show you how open this thing is. There's the big door, wide open. No bugs right now. There's a huge window. There's the side window. And there's the back window. Just an enormous amount of ventilation between all of these windows. This is pretty standard now on most good tents. It's got a loft with uh, netting. I got a coat thrown up there. That's probably what you'll throw. Here's my bed. Now this is a twin, but you could easily get a queen in here. In fact, I've left room for a queen. Um, here is, uh, if you put your bed across the back, which is probably going to be most common, there you'd throw your wallet, your glasses, your flashlight, uh, your watch. Whatever you put away at night would go in here. All right, it's an enormous tent, 10 by 14. Uh, two, three people in here, no problem. It starts to get a little more crowded. Uh, two is super easy, very pleasant. Uh, three or four, you know, it's starting to get a little crowded, but you can do it. Uh, kids, especially kids, a dog. The quality of this tent is outstanding everywhere. It's got the best zippers I've ever seen. The uh, stove jack setup is really good. Uh, you have to kind of install it yourself, but that's not a problem. I got that in there. No problem at all. As you can see, it's Cody approved. Cody says, yeah, I'll live here, please. Let me live right here, as long as you keep petting me. Another real good feature about this tent is it's 8-ounce cotton duck uh, canvas on the outside. So that's 8-ounce. And on the inside, your roof is 10 and a half. So it's a little stronger, thicker canvas, which makes sense. And the floor is a very, very, very strong, I know you probably can't see much in here, uh, very, very strong um, nylon of some kind. I think that is going to be an extremely durable floor. That's one of the best floors I've ever seen on a tent. So there you have it. You've seen the inside, the outside, all the reasons I think that spring bar is superior. Uh, again, you may, the size may may be a difficulty for you. You may not have room in your rig. You may not be able to carry it, physically pick it up and carry it around. If it is, there are other options. It's a great tent. Highly, I mean, I've had a long, years long experience with the spring bar tent. They are made for decades of use, 20, 30. You can give this to your son or your daughter and your daughter can give it to her daughter or son. It can. It is that kind of a product and there aren't many of those left. Uh, and so, that's why I would give serious thought to the spring bar. Great, great tent. Okay, I hope so. You got something out of this video that it helped you. If it did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. And remember, at the end of your life, die with amazing, wonderful memories and not regrets. Don't die with regrets. Live your best life today. See you later.